Hey, so uh, I've really been missing working out and uh, decided to build a home gym and turn my terrace from this into this. design and build this, um, I took quite a lot of inspiration from the Buff Dudes Power Rack video and also a guy called Coffee God who had a really really nice design, um, but I wanted to slightly change and improve on uh, Coffee God's uh, build um, and I've slightly changed the features. So the first thing is I had to adapt this to outdoors as this is the only space I have to build something like this. So that meant I had to upgrade a few things so this will weather okay. Um, so all the paint is weatherproof paint. Um, the plywood brackets down here and on the sides up there are I upgraded to marine grade plywood so it's fully waterproof. And then I painted the small bolts and larger bolts here in some weatherproof metallic paint so it doesn't rust. Um, and also these uh, timber posts um, are more designed for outdoor use. It's rough sawn uh, rather than the smooth timber and it's chemically treated. So the next thing I changed uh, was the pull-up bar. I wanted to use this both for weightlifting uh, with the weights and also um, calisthenics. So I removed this wooden cross member in Coffee God's design so I could do the muscle ups and go all the way over the bar without that wooden beam being in the way. And I found it's perfectly fine, it's still strong enough um, and it works, it works well. So the other feature I added was this dip station um, which was quite difficult to get the design right because I didn't want these posts going into the main uh, frame of the structure so there were holes in different directions going through the wood. Um, so to achieve that I built these four extra wooden brackets here um, and bolted them on the back instead of on the front like the J-cups. Um, and this is nice because um, these are obviously removable and these holes you could move the J-cups and use them there or there and you can kind of swap things around. The other part of my design with these dip bars is I made the pipe so it's flush here and doesn't stick out which means when you're bench pressing and this is moving up and down um, the dips bars won't interfere with this and you can leave them on there. Or if you want to get rid of this so you've got space to do pull-ups then you can just pull this out, slide it out like that and then yeah, move this off and then off you go you can do your pull-ups and this one comes out as well and that's because this design only has a bracket at one end but a hole at the other end. I also built uh, four J cups instead of two, one for the squat rack at the top and one for the bench press on the bottom so that I didn't have to change these all the time and it's just super convenient. I also uh, went and bought some uh, gymnastics rings um, and hooked these up to the pull-up bar and I really like this actually because without that wooden beam um, there's plenty of freedom of movement and I really just enjoy using these like I'm not that good at it yet but it's super fun and you can do so many different exercises um, yeah hopefully I'll be doing the iron cross one day who knows <laughs> um, but no, seriously, they're really nice and you can adjust all different um, lengths and do all sorts of different exercises. And they just, this just makes the rack um, have so many more possibilities. So I thought I'd give a quick cost breakdown in case you guys were thinking of building something like this. Um, so the timber post, nine of those was £116. Um, the uh, dips bars were £26. The four brackets, £12. Um, the safety rods and pull-up bar was £52, um, the brown paint £8, 
the blue paint for the uh, brackets 11 pounds the metallic paint for the bolts 10 pounds uh, and then the plywood for these brackets that was actually 36 pounds a bit more because it's waterproof um, all these large bolts here they added up to 20 pounds um, and then uh, those small L brackets and the coach screws for that corner um, plus some of the washers was another 10 pounds and then I had a pack of 50 M12 bolts which hold most of it together and uh, the screws that was uh, 25 for the bolts and eight pounds for all the screws so that came to 343 pounds now obviously this was a bit more because I had to upgrade things to, to make it outdoors so I worked out if you did an indoor version and got rid of some of those upgrades um, you could do it for about 270 pounds which is not bad considering uh, a new metal version of one of these racks can cost thousands so part of the reason I built this rack um, is to help promote um, a new fitness sportswear brand I launched at the beginning of the lockdown called Afterglow. Um, and the unique aspect of this is that every single component of the clothes is 100% recycled. So not just the fabric, like this tank for example, even the logo is made of recycled ink. Um, and the hoodies have recycled zips and uh, the elastic in the shorts is 100% um, recycled polyester. Every single aspect and the packaging. Um, yeah, if you're interested, head over to the website, afterglowlondon.com. Um, I'm doing a promotion uh, and there's a code in the description. Um, use the code and you can get uh, a good discount. Uh, yeah, go and check it out and see if you like it. So. If you'd like to see how I actually built this, I've got a much longer video where I walk through step by step how I did every single aspect. Um, check out the link in the video or there's a link here to my other video and have a watch. And if you've got any questions, put it in the comments. I'm happy to help. Uh, and I hope you guys can uh, make uh, something which is as fun to use as this has been for me. Cheers very much and talk to you soon. Thank you.